Hello everyone, I am Dr. Naveen Kumar LV. I am a senior consultant in orthopedics and sports injuries at Manipal Hospital Sarjap Road. This is regarding the ACL ligament tear and ACL ligament surgery. Uh, I am sure a uh, lot of you have watched a lot of videos about ACLs and in spite of all the information which you can get on Google, you would be uh, still worried or thinking as to what the hell is this, why do I need a surgery or can I not lead a life without a surgery. Uh, not a wrong question to ask, of course you need to know that. The reason why this happens, let me tell you, because when we talk about a uh, fracture, it's very easy to understand, you can't walk, you get admitted, you get the surgery done and done understood and everything is done. So when it comes to ACL, uh, you will see that on the first day, second day, you are struggling to walk. After four or five days, the swelling is getting better. You are able to do a bit of walking. By two or three weeks, you are able to walk comfortably. Then rises the question as to, although the doctors are saying that I'm an ACL is torn, I got this problem. Uh, so, but I'm doing well. I'm able to walk. What is wrong with me? Why are they saying all of these things? So what you need to understand is, see, ACL is not a ligament which has got any, anything to do with weight bearing. You will be able to put weight on the leg and you will be able to walk. But ACL is important in rotational movements. If the ACL is not functioning normal, although you may be able to walk, whenever you walk on uneven roads or pavements or go up and down the stairs, or if it is raining and if you have to walk, if you have to walk quickly, or you go and play, under those circumstances, the knee skids. The knee will not smoothly, it will skid. So you will feel that instability under those circumstances, not with normal walking. Without the ACL, even by six weeks, you will be able to run on the treadmill. But if you if we ask you to run outdoors or if you if we ask you to do something on the ground, that is when you face the problem. So ACL is the ligament which is deeper inside the knee. It's not a ligament on the side of the joint, but it is in the center of the joint. As you can see, these are all the muscles outside. But when we look deeper inside the joint, you will find the ACL right in the center of the joint. And it is the ligament which smoothens the rotational movements or twisting movements of the knee. And the problem with ACL is, ACL is not going to heal back. Whether you leave it for one month, one year, 10 years, it's going to remain the same. So if the ACL doesn't heal back, that will the knee will keep on skidding and that will lead to further wear and tear in the joint. So one, there will be limitations in terms of what activities you can do and cannot do for rest of the life pretty much. And secondly, because of the wear and tear which will increase as we go along. So normally if you are destined to develop arthritis by an age of 70-75, with the ACL not functioning, it can happen by the age of 50-55 or even sooner. That's the reason why we worry about an ACL tear. Uh, and for that reason, if it is a partial tear, still we can do more conservative treatments which you can discuss with us. But if it is a complete ACL tear, especially if you are young. I do get people's parents sometimes come uh, and tell that my son is so young, he's only 25, why does he need a surgery? But this is the age group where we need to do a surgery. If, we, if somebody is 55, 60 and already has got a, uh, some wear and tear in the joint and an ACL tear, there's no point or need to do an ACL reconstruction. But this is, this is an young people's surgery and it is done typically in people who are in their 20s, 30s or even 40s who are leading an active lifestyle.